Hi there, welcome to number one Geeky Design Saz. We're back with some more Project Zomboid Snakes mod. Now, we are still heading towards the bookshop. I have dropped off some of our extra heavy stuff, including the shotgun, which uh, we had a successful test with uh, yesterday, or last episode, should I say. And um, what we're doing now is we are going to work our way through and... Um, See if we can clear out that area. There's also the police station down to the uh, south of where we're headed. Uh, I also have an axe, so I should be able to break through some of the doors as well. So all these considerations have been made. And, of course, because it's night time or because I've had a sleep, some of the, uh, some of the mobs have moved. And this is one of those one of those days where uh, mobs have moved, and uh, Saz has to deal with them in the only way that he knows how, with a great deal of prejudice. Now, normally, you kind of want to not do this at night, but, hey, my character's got eagle eyes. I can also hear very, very well. This is the problem with uh, Mulder out, is you just don't know, keep knowing where they bloody well come from, these zombies. They come out the goddamn woodwork, especially on that main road. I'll worry about electronics later, we can just check all the bodies. worried about that music. Now, as I say this many a time, here we go, here's where the, where the large group has caught me. Um, when these guys are dead, they stay dead. Oh yes, also uh, I managed to pick up some uh, a thing of showing me how to make bullet casings, so that's that's a thing. Where have they all come from? It was nearly half empty when I uh, last came this direction. Sneaky, 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 kind of sneaky pop. That's fine, I can take these guys on. Nobody else has spotted me, have they? Okay. Oh, does this guy go down first time? Nope. But he does take a critical hit. 
This one's gone down. Tire repair glue, eh? Hello, what was that? House key. Fair play. Right, this is the main road. Don't tell me that keys for everything here, is it? I know that one's been there because I recognise the uh, so a quick run out here because I keep hearing zombies hissing. Yeah. Oh, you know, out there. Okay. <sighs> right. This group here. I think they'll eventually get themselves to me, but obviously it's going to take some time. Well, that was unexpected. Next in the group, you're coming, okay. And you're followed. Anybody else? No, okay. That'll do, mate. And that's the lights out, I think. Oh, no, it's 5.20. That's fine. You. I thought that was the uh, the electricity gone, but it's actually just the street lights going out at the right time. Haven't I? Now I suspect that that key will probably only open those particular doors. These doors here won't open unless it's all part of the same thing. Let's have a look. 
Guess it was. There's a clothing store, which might be quite important further down the line. In fact, I hear hissing from over there. Interesting salon. Am I meant to tell a mistake as to which one's the bookshop here? That's food. I thought it was a bookshop here, unless they've moved it. That wouldn't be fun. And I bet all those who know what they're talking about with this mole drought is uh, thinking, ha ha ha, sirs, you've completely got the wrong place, or you've got the wrong door, or shouting at the screen at me, going, no, go that way, you dozy, dozy billock. And I'll be like, sorry, man. Didn't mean it. No, nope, we're here. Right. Well, let's have a quick look, shall we? What, we? what do we need? We need farming for beginners. Yes. I'll take that. Uh, electricity for beginners. No, we don't need that. Cooking for intermediates. We will probably need that in a very short time. How to use generators. I've already read that. That's fine. Advanced carpentry, well, we'll always grab carpentry books. Electronics magazines. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll read those quickly. Right. Let's put cooking for intermediates back there. Let's put the duct tape back as well. These magazines aren't so important. I don't think they really weigh that much either, to be fair. So, uh, trapping for beginners. Trapping, trapping, trapping. Now we've got trapping for beginners, right? I see something. I'll uh, at least. Uh, There's a little bit of extra bit thing because I've forgotten to bring that bloody bag with me as well. Right. I'll probably need electricity for intermediates at some point. And red. I'll take that with me, I think. Uh... Let's make sure that we've got the carpentry books that we need. The carpentry Carpentry for intermediates, there we go. Expert carpentry. I'll just grab that. Metalwork magazine. And red. I'll put that in there. Hunting for beginners. I'll grab that book as well. Now, hunting's new advancements energy. Yeah, I've read that. Tailoring. No. Trapping artillery, whatever that might mean. Uh, right, coffee for intermediates, expert coffee. Did I pick up expert child? Yes, I have. Uh, farming magazine, foraging for beginners. So we've got some good books here, actually. Uh, I, may not, I may have already picked that up. Hmm. 
Okay, lanes automatic motorcycle mechanics. I've read it good. Advanced first aid. So we can come back here at any time, really. We're uh, we're only really shopping here for the big boys and stuff. Farming magazine. Yep, got that. Fix fishing rod. Yep. I think really, apart from artillery, advanced artillery, uh, it's automatic herbalist. Oh, herbalist. Okay, we'll read that. We can make poultices. Uh, this is the best we're going to get, I'm afraid. Lane's auto manual motorcycle. It's the same thing. Uh, Getting the lanes manual might be helpful as well. Right, so that, my friends, is what I call a successful hunt. We've got what we need. We've got to head back, but that is something that I will do in another time and make sure these books are read before uh, next episode. Oh. Uh, balls. Okay. This may take a little bit more work than uh, I thought. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section to let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, want to press that subscribe button. And if you super duper like it, want to press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload any content to YouTube. All that remains for me to say is thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.